Hey viewers, this is attempt number 633 something on casting this game. Everything that could possibly go wrong with it has already gone wrong. So this one has to be perfect now. <sighs> um, yeah, this is game one of Canada vs France, the bronze medal match from WCG. And let's hope this one goes correctly this time. First of all, the picks and bands, as you can see, the, um, uh, well, Canada, Team Canada gets the last uh, pick, so they got uh, last pick, last ban. Meaning that the first pick overall, or the first ban, let's let's do bans first, well, overall was Nidalee, obviously meant against um, Hacha GG, because if you get a Nidalee, you normally lose the game. Then... Um, uh, Rice was banned by Canada. Then, of course, we get all the overpowered champions: uh, Fizz, Ramus, Cartus, and Graves. Cartus, I don't really understand. He has been banned all tournament. I have no clue why. But okay. Um, the picks then. Udir was the first pick, which is a very good first pick. I think he's really strong. And he is going top lane, it seems, because they have Shaco in uh, the jungle. So as a reaction to that, yeah, there is no real reaction to that, because how are you going to react against Udir? Udir can do most of anything. Um, they picked um, Caitlyn and Cassidy. And yeah, both of them are really strong picks, so I can see why they would pick them really early. Then we see Urgot and Sion. Uh, Urgot is obviously going to lane against Caitlyn, which is strong. I think Urgot is a lot stronger. And Sion is picked, uh, picked as a counter pick for uh, Cassidy. And I'm not actually sure if he can land the stun and get the shield off. So AP Sion may not be the best counter to, um, to Cassidy, but We'll have to see how that works out. Then after that we see the jungle pick by uh, Team Canada. Uh, it's going to be jungle Maokai. And we see the support pick which is going to be Blitzcrank. So Blitzcrank uh, is going to support the uh, Caitlyn. And yeah, that is a strong combination. Although against Urgot, uh, remember we haven't seen the last two yet at this point, but uh, Urgot is going to be very tanky and yeah you're not going to be able to do a whole lot with the rocket grab because you're not going to do a whole lot of damage to him. He has a shield, he has a good amount of armor, he has a good amount of HP. So yeah not the strongest of supports against uh, Urgot but also because you uh, already give them the warning that you're going to be aggressive they are actually going for Tarek as support it's kind of as a counter pick yeah now we have Shaco Shaco not really my favorite jungler he is really strong as a jungler don't get me wrong but he is just not very strong in the late game especially in these kind of uh, high ELO matches because if he doesn't get his stun off then yeah, what's he going to do? He can run uh, uh, He can run behind you, but that's about it. He can slow you, I guess. Um, he is very strong at get uh, getting early dragons, and of course, with its stealth, he can get some awesome ganks off. But I think the uh, the pick on Canada, uh, Canada's team is a lot stronger because the uh, uh, ranged stun or ranged snare is just very strong. His Q is an extra. So Maokai that is. Uh, his Q is an extra CC. And overall I think this is a stronger jungler. I, th I think they should have gone for someone like um, Trundle. Just to have more CC and such. Um, yeah the last pick then. It's going to be Irelia. And Irelia is mainly picked because as you can see. Uh, stun, slow, stun, uh, fear. And stun. Yeah you probably want to do something against that. And Irelia is the ideal cha uh, champion to do something about that. Because 
it's almost impossible to stun her and make it stick. You could also go for Olaf, but Olaf hasn't been played a whole lot lately. Not sure whether he's still very strong or that they nerfed something that I, I just don't know. Anyway, um, I hope that explains enough about what is happening here. And we can go into the game. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. And there we go. Oh, that is excellent. What happened? So the team runs into the lane or into the jungle. Uh, Shaco obviously going to be as quick as possible about it because he needs to plant some uh, some boxes. And the video, uh, this video is uh, not recorded by me. You can see that by the quality. The quality really sucks and we also have some lagginess going on. And yeah, so they don't really tell us what is going on yet, but I am pretty sure something is wrong with the jungler. Because we see Blitzcrank, we see um, Cassidy, we see Caitlyn, and there is something wrong. I don't know. Let's fast forward a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay, so we see four of them here. They re Yeah, so they, they just continue to game. Yeah, Shek is now going to um, set up boxes. But the jungler is still not connecting. The, uh, the Maokai. And this is completely unsportsmanlike. I have no idea what's happening here, but if this guy loses experience or anything really due to the fact that he disconnects, that's on Riot's head. That's not his fault. And yeah, obviously the French team wants to win here, so they're not going to complain, but this is really childish, to say the least. I mean, are you really going to stick to your stupid rules in this situation? Yeah, he definitely didn't connect. So, another pause apparently. But now he's too late. Uh, even if he connects right this second, he is too late because his minions will spawn in a few seconds. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Don't know how long this will take. Um, so, here we are. Oh, let's reverse that a little bit. Um, yeah, he finally connects, but uh, Shaco already has his blue, as you can see. And Shaco is going into the enemy jungle because, yeah, he wants to win the game. And, yeah, it's really bad mannered to do this, but still. They should have just restarted this game. But obviously, he wants to win, so he's going to steal enemy red. And if they don't win, even though this happened, then they really deserve to lose. I mean... Yeah, this is just... I don't know. You're basically saying, yeah, you can play without... Uh, without anything. <laughs> Mid lane already uh, losing there. Uh, Udir too strong for Cassidy. <laughs> And we didn't get to see the kill, because this uh, cameraman is fantastic. And yeah, the video quality is really, really bad. I know that you don't have to put that in the comments. Uh, it's not so much the quality this time, it's more the, the frames per second. Uh, at times it's more of a slideshow than an actual video. But once again, it's the only one I have. So I don't really have a choice. Shaco leaving one minion behind, even though, yeah, why would you? And he's going to steal the double golems now. So yeah, he is really a tryhard here. Um, it is really unsportsmanlike to start the game like uh, with a disconnect in a tournament like this, and then be as bad mannered as the Shaco is by stealing all of the uh, the minions because you know that the jungler can never be there because he disconnected. So yeah, well. 
That's I, I I won't talk about it anymore. I just think it is typical for WCG to have something stupid like this. It always happens. Anyway, uh, yeah, getting the one minion here. Uh, Shaco is uh, still there and might actually go for a kill here. Wow, Mauk, I actually leveled three because he uh, got to be in the lane for a bit when. Kesselin was not there. But yeah, Maokai has 12 minions and Shekor has... Oh, only has 10. Wow. But yeah, he did have two buffs. But I guess... Um, yeah, the odd one already catching up here. And... Yeah, let's hope that he can uh, actually make this work. He does get to keep blue buff. So that's good. Anyway, um, the bottom lane is pushing quite hard, and for the moment there is no gank coming in, but yeah, obviously it is pretty easy to gank if people push this hard. But Shaco is not a very uh, uh, yeah tanky jungler, so he can get killed pretty easily by the combination of Blitzcrank and, uh, and Caitlyn. But still, I think he uh, he will get a kill before he gets killed. So, it is really risky to do this. And yeah, there we see the jungler coming in. Uh, but yeah, it's Udir. He's just going to attack and uh, be done with it. So he actually got the stun on both of them, I think. And then ran out, something like that. I don't know exactly what happened, because... Well, this slideshow isn't slo showing me enough, uh, and I have the sound turned off. Should probably, yeah, I, for these kind of games, it might be better to go with my old recording program, which uh, does take me a longer time to to make. While we'll see a hotshot doing a whole lot of damage here, but it does a it does take a longer time to make a. A video then, but I do get to hear the sounds. Was that a pink ward? Huh. Pink ward really early there. But okay. Sure. It is worth it, of course. Um, yeah, instead of going for the bottom lane, he's now going for the mid lane, because the enemy just saw him take out a ward, and they're expecting him to come go gank the bottom lane. Because he just cleared the vision, and there we go. Is are they actually going to get it? Yeah, no problem. We didn't see what was ha what happened, but apparently, uh, yeah, a few tower shots on the uh, the, the the Udir, but yeah, Udir can take some tower shots. He's really tanky. So another death on Cassidy's account. And Shaco is now in the bottom lane. Or oh, that's not Shaco, that's Scion. Wow. Scion doing a lot of damage there. Yeah, Caitlyn is of course pretty squishy. And the odd one coming in to try to snare someone. Didn't actually get that. So they are just going to defend the lanes here. The top lane is um, is now with, filled with Udir and uh, Iridia, and yeah, where we see where we saw the uh, the Udir taking out Kassadin, uh twice already. So yeah, Sion getting caught here. He he was going for Kaox, uh, so for the Caitlyn, Caitlyn was really low, but ran into two. <laughs> Enemy champions in the bush, and 3v1 is too much even for him. And he couldn't actually get the damage done. So really risky there. By the way, this is the uh, not the first time I'm commenting on this. So yeah, it's kind of I've seen all of it, and that takes away some of the fun for me. But I just wanted to complete the whole package, and I'm really annoyed by the fact that it didn't record the sound the first time. So I'm hoping the sound is okay this time. 
And yeah, see the mid lane once again, uh, Scion being really aggressive, and not, yeah, Kessler not really able to do anything against him. And here, f uh, the French team is going for Dragon, uh, and they are going to get an easy Dragon. There is no one near from the Canadian team. Apparently, they didn't care. So with that dragon, they are actually a thousand gold ahead. Uh, well, with that and the extra kill they have. Chaos. So the Caitlyn. Oh, Caitlyn is actually getting out, but this guy is not getting out. There we go. They get another kill on uh, on the Blitzcrank, because all of them were bottom, and they thought, well, we're here. Uh, we're all here now. So let's uh, just kill this guy. But in the meantime, Hotshot is pushing the top lane, or is supposed to be pushing the top lane, because that is what you have to do. If there are four people bottom, you push the top lane. Anyway, not the best of uh, starts for the Canadian team, although they are still, yeah, only 1k gold uh, down, and getting one turret would fix most of that. And he is going to get most of the minions here at least. Except for the big one. Big one taking a little bit too much. And there's Shaco. Shaco trying to do some damage, but yeah, I really am not hitting him. Uh, just using the exhaust there. And is going to get out of this. Had Shaco waited a little longer. The Scion would be there as well, and they would have gotten they would have gotten a kill out of that, or probably would have gotten a kill out of that. And yeah, the target lock from the poison here is very strong uh, against Caitlyn. Yeah, I didn't discuss the pixel whole lots. I just explained a little bit, but. Um, the target lock from the poison on Urgot is really why they w would pick Urgot for such a situation. With the squishies, yeah, once you hit them, you take about half their HP away. And since they have no uh, heal in the bottom line of uh, Canada, that is actually pre pretty decent strategy. Obviously, with the uh, yeah, with the armor aura. And all that other crap from Tarek, yeah, they can pretty much do whatever. Urgot can do whatever he wants. He uh, he has an armor buff, he has heal on his side, um, he has a stun on his side, so no matter how aggressive you're going to be... Oh, while well, we see the uh, the alt one being aggressive against uh, Shaco, but yeah, Shaco had some, uh, some boxes set up, and... The odd one just getting out of that uh, with the help of Cassid in there, and wow, that was that was really nice. <laughs> that was really nice. He deceived away at the moment I really uh, came into the bush, and um, yeah, therefore had a relatively easy escape. But that was well done. So this sh slideshow is. Uh, pretty annoying. I wish the guys that made this video had a little bit better computer or were just yeah is satisfied with uh, a lesser quality video because I would rather have 30 frames per second or at least 20 frames per second and then have uh, 720p or well even 480p instead of having this which is probably 1080 or 720 uh, but <laughs> it's more like 5 frames per second on average. And at times it's even worse. So, yeah, Caitlyn is dead here. But Blitzcrank is safe for now. And that is going to stay that way. Shaco did try to find him, but didn't. Oh, he he might he's finding him now. There we go. Putting down a box, so oh, the rocket grab not hitting. 
and he is going to get away the bliss crank but they are going to give away bottom tower now but top tower has already fallen uh, I really had taken that down by pushing the turret all the time because there's once again uh, a situation where there are three bottom uh, and nobody was top so yeah it's pretty easy to push the top lane if that happens and Caitlyn is now going to farm and farm and farm because that's what she needs to do to win the end game and she's only one death behind so it's not too much of a problem rather she's one kill behind because um, who got actually got a kill and she didn't and well I really have farming up the top lane because Hotshot likes to farm and yeah well it works for him so why not I mean yeah I see no reason to stop doing uh, doing that because this game is mostly about the amount of gold you get and we see that uh, the Canadian team has two guys over a hundred one at ninety and the uh, French team they have one guy at 90 one guy over a hundred so yeah that's a big difference in uh, in the amount of gold you're going to get so but champion kills make up for that another dragon downed but this time yeah this is a horrible team fight for uh, uh <laughs> for Canada uh, we will see in a minute why, because I will rewind it, and I forgot this team fight was actually in there. But yeah, so in the end, they will lose. Oh, the French aren't going to die there, so they will lose three for two, which is actually good, and they actually lose their blue buff. But what happens? I don't know where the fight started. Um, somewhere here. This is really horrible. The quality that is. Um, so they are going to go for dragon. Let's fast forward a little bit quicker. So the French team is going for dragon. And we can see them gather up. They're going to get red first. And there they go. No. Come on. There we go. So they are going for Dragon, and then we see the Canadian team being all over the place. I really are still coming in. Uh, there are two in this lane, and there are two here. So basically, they are not grouped up. And now, as you can see, they form kind of a uh, two groups: two on the left, three on the right, and in yeah the French team is all gathered up and yeah even though they can uh, take out Shaco really early in the fight that was really what saved them otherwise they would have gotten aced um, they could take out Shaco but Shaco gets away anyway so he doesn't die and yeah well he dies now but uh, not at that point he just deceived and got back in the fight but the two fighting him which were Blitzcrank and I think Caitlyn they actually were out of the fight for that entire time so the other team fought 4v3 so the the guys that went to the left went 4 versus 3 and that's why French the French team won and they now take the blue buff and yeah they already got the dragon so that's a big boon for them. It's now 7 and 3 with uh, them being almost 3000 gold up. And that should be enough to uh, to carry them to the late game. But we will see what happens. So I really are getting the red buff because with the red buff she's virtually unstoppable. <laughs> she doesn't die too easily anyway. I mean she's zero zero and two with 121 millions, 
and hasn't had any situation yet in which she uh, she was in trouble. <laughs> Guess it in too quick for uh, Scion, but yeah, Scion should get the stun off with his level five boots. He stu should be able to catch up, but. Yeah, Kassadin obviously has his ultimates, uh, he has a slow, he can get away pretty easily if he pays attention and if he's quick enough on the reactions. So we see uh, Udir here getting caught a little bit by uh, by Kassadin, but Blitzcrank couldn't come in in time to help out and a flash from Maokai draws out a flash from uh, Tarek, Tarek who's running around with an oracle and they would really like to kill him because of the oracles. The oracles at the moment, uh, well Tarek at the moment is worth 700 gold so even if you have to expand two kills for it or two deaths, uh, it is still worth it because uh, taking out oracles means the 400 gold deficit for the team also because uh, CLG, no not CLG, Canada Oh, well, we see Blitzcrank getting caught by two of the enemy team. Yeah, he ran into a warded bush, and that is uh, not good. Yeah, because they uh, the Canadian team is behind, they need to know where the enemy is, because they need to pick them off one by one until they're uh, equal again, and then they can fight full team fights, and hopefully win full team fights. But they're warding up, and that's what the oracle, uh, where the oracle comes in. Because if they cannot see the enemy team, then how are they ever going to catch up? In team fights, at the moment, they cannot win. They're too far behind, and they need to catch people. Yeah, well, one versus three or something like that. And at the moment, that is not happening. So another fight going off it is um oh it is actually someone on the french side dying i don't know exactly what happened there but that doesn't really matter it was good uh caitlin dies on the canadian side now but they are going to catch two frenchies here uh one of them dies the other one has to burn flash and wow there goes Tarek. yeah Tarek is dead and there goes the Oracle. So that was huge. Yeah, well, they lose Blitzcrank for it, but as I said, you can expend two kills for it and still be ahead in that uh, trade-off. Um, yeah, they are going to get a turret here because uh, Urgot is the only one here. Shaco is doing the top lane. And the rest is dead. Sion is now back in the bottom lane, but was dead long enough to not be able to uh, well to catch up with that fight to actually be in that fight and Shaco is now getting away because obviously they are going to try to uh, to get Shaco but Shaco is just too good Shaco just has too many tricks and um, has no trouble getting out of that at all. Sion getting uh, some extra minions from the jungle and then going mid, I'm assuming. No, they're going to stay in the in the jungle to give the red buff to Udir. Oh my god, this this quality, man. It's really like watching a very, very laggy video. Or game, or whatever. <sighs> because I am watching a very laggy video. You're not. You're actually watching the perfect speeded video at 30 frames per second. Anyway, it's an, another fight over Dragon. And um, at this moment... Yeah, it is 2k gold difference, or, well, about 3k gold difference, still. And, um, yeah, that means that the French team has a big advantage uh, to get this dragon. And if they get it, it will actually be a 4k gold difference. 
So they are pushing in. Canada is pushing into the uh, direction of the dragon, but there is no way they can do it for now. There are some Caitlyn traps down, and that is really risky. The French team actually getting out of here. Currently finding it too risky, and uh, oh, Canada grouping up, getting an excellent rocket grab, but flashing out, and then yeah. Everyone engages, but the Canadian team has a much better positioning. And the Canadian team actually getting out of this. They're going to win this team fight. But by how much is the question. And yeah, we'll just have to wait until it's over. Oh, rocket grab, that was excellent. And who's coming to help? I really... Uh, Flash from Aurelia and doing the damage that was needed. That was 3 4 0. Wow, and a dragon. So Fra uh, the French team messing that up because there were two guys coming from the river, three guys from the top, and then one of them got caught by uh, the rocket grab, meaning that he was already lower health right off the start, didn't have a flash up, and all in all the Canadian team would have done better to, after that rocket grab, just back off. Uh, they do have clairvoyance, yeah. So they should have used their clairvoyance to spot where the enemy team was, uh, taken position elsewhere, and just made sure that they couldn't get Dragon. It shouldn't be too hard to do. Especially if you have a Shaco that can go invisible and there is no Oracle's elixir on the enemy team. But yeah, this should make up for most of the gold difference. It does in fact make up for the gold difference. There, yeah, it's also 10-10 in kills, so... Yeah, all is equalized. So the Canadian team now going for a push in mid, obviously, and they are just going to attempt to um, get the start. Yeah, not actually managing to do a whole lot there, but I really are still top, so it was a 4v5 fight anyway. So I really are going to push the top lane and. Um, get a lot of minions there which is very useful for them in the end and um, yeah in the meantime the French team doing the same thing but with the mid lane and they have Shaco lagging behind so if they get caught here by the entire Canadian team they will have some trouble and yeah some horrible positioning here on the French team so they need to regroup because there's no way they can fight like this and I really are just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Getting the uh, the minions up to the uh, the turret actually. Well, not actually the turret, but close to the turret at least. And yeah, nice play on the part of um, Canada to actually get to a point where they are equal again. And which kill did I get that it's now 10 to 11? Because I think I missed that. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. They're now uh, 1k gold up because they got a dragon. And yeah, that is, of course, a big deal. Dragons are so huge in this game. That's a, it's a really good game element. It's something to fight over, just like Baron. So, um, bottom lane getting pushed now, because Shaco went top lane, so, yeah, there's not a whole lot to be done there. But bottom lane is getting pushed by, uh, by Caitlyn, and they are going to assist her, I'm assuming. No, they're not. Caitlyn should just back out then. Not sure how much vision they have on the map, because they can see Shaco. And they can probably see the guys in mid, but I'm not actually sure. 
Why are we following around random players here? Why aren't we watching something useful? Anyway, uh, the, the Blitzcrank cleaning up all of the minions. Clean are not the minions, the wards, sorry. Uh, cleaning up the wards and uh, making sure that they can do Baron whenever they want. But the French team is thinking exactly the same thing. They are clearing the wards with uh, another oracles on uh, Tarek. But yeah, Blitzcrank immediately warding after they leave. Because they don't want to lose vision on Baron. Because if they lose Baron, they might actually lose this game. Because by now if you get aced, then you lose a lot. And you probably lose an inhibitor. And it doesn't matter on which team you are. <laughs> Because, well, one kill will spiral into uh, Baron, which will spiral into getting losing one or two turrets and probably an inhi inhibitor. So, yeah, and if you're not careful, then you lose like 5,000 gold right there. But for now, both teams are really careful not to do anything. Uh, there's only one ward at Baron, so the other team... I'm not sure whose ward that is. It seems to be a, uh, from the bl the green team, but the other team might have warded at the Baron in the Baron pit, and they are going to steal red here. The Canadian team. Oh, a huge team fight breaking out, but yeah, the oh the the green team was split up because one of them got pulled, I think, into yeah into the top of the fight, and it's. Yeah, therefore they're not able to do all the damage on uh, on the person they wanted to focus. Which in this case seems to be Blitzcrank, because Blitzcrank is the only one that's really low. He has the oracles, so I guess they want to kill him because of that. Uh, so that they can ward the map once more until he gets a new one. But getting an oracles is really expensive. This uh, guy is going to try to uh, suicide. And he's actually always oh, not going to make it. Wow, the the <laughs> uh, ultimate from Caitlyn preventing that because he cannot suicide for the next ten seconds. And oh yeah, now by now, hotshot with his uh, ghost actually catching up, getting an extra kill there, and that is huge because now they get a baron, a dragon, and after the dragon, maybe even baron, because with without Scion there. The team fights will be completely different. So easy dragon, even though this uh, Olaf came in, or not Olaf? Come on, Ugot came in right in the last moment, and oh wow, really close one. He's going to die. Yeah, there you go. The poison lock is just really strong and doing a lot of damage, but. Yeah, bear, a dragon for one kill is still worth it. It was nice play on uh, the part of the French team to actually be there. But yeah, now we have the exact opposite situation. There's one guy missing from the Canadian team, meaning that the French team can go do Baron. And the French team actually... Oh, they, they caught one. Kuja, who's that? I don't know. It It seems to be... Yeah, wow. This is just horrible for the French team. <laughs> Although they are fighting bravely, they're not going to be able to uh, to come back from this. No, 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 no. This this guy is dead as well, and uh, yeah, there's only the Shaco survived. The who's Kuja? Hang on. Oh, that's the Tarek. Yeah, Tarek got caught completely off guard. Um, he was in the bush. He was completely away from his team. They might actually still get the Shaco here. But yeah, they were he was completely away from his team. He got killed before the team fight actually started. And that means no armor buff. And without the armor buff, yeah, the whole team is so much cushier. And yeah, there we go. Another turret. Didn't actually go for Baron here. Might still go for Baron afterwards, but the turret was more important, it gives uh, about half the gold, well it gives half the gold that the Baron gives, 150 a person. 
but yeah, that it's not about the gold for them. It's about pushing that one lane, that middle lane, that is so all important in this game. And yeah, it is going to be rather difficult to come back from this if you're the French team. Although Baron is still up and they might still do it. But Canada is now going for Baron and I'm not sure whether there are any wards out for the French team. They have, oh, they have two guys bottom. That is not good. There is no way they can stop this. Yep. They, the, the Canadian team probably saw that. They probably saw the two guys bottom and said, well, we're going to just get it. And obviously Scion shouldn't have been there in the first place. This guy shouldn't have been there, but he is going to survive for now. But yeah, Scion dying means that they can the Canadian team can now easily win a team fight for the next uh, minute or so. Uh oh, it's only 25 seconds left. If I see that correctly. Um yeah, all in all not really yeah, not not really useful this, but yeah. For the French team, uh they because they lost that extra death or that extra kill, whatever you want to call it, um, they cannot stop the inhibitor going down. They cannot stop this next turret from going down. And um, they are going to lose, as I said, a lot of gold by just this one scion dying. And this is exactly what you need to do to, uh, to win a game. I mean, they caught scion. Because of the scion kill, they got two turrets here, well this is going to be the second and if the enemy actually tries to resist this they're going to get killed of course they did lose Baron before that and yeah no uh, deceive on Shaco, let's see if that comes into play yeah Kaox, so the, the Caitlyn actually warding up the or not warding, uh, using the traps to keep them from engaging. She did that on the last push as well. I forgot to mention that, but you can rewind if you want to see that. By pushing the traps, uh, putting the traps there, you basically prevent the enemy from pushing out. And yeah, they are going to be careful now, but yeah, there's not a whole lot they can do. It was a great initiate on the Caitlyn, who died instantly. But they have so much more damage and so much more HP. You're not going to get all of them. And yeah, that's another 3 for 1 trait. Uh, they're going to do oh, 4 for 1 trait. Even better. They are going to get this other inhibitor as well. Because with 4 guys still available, 4 times Baron buff, that this should be uh, over. Oh wow, that dead timer, man. This is going to be over right now nothing they can do about it because nobody's alive huh well so this is over it's uh, it's a shame my first commentary was a lot better but it didn't record properly so I hope you still enjoyed I'm sorry about the lagginess of the game I will try to get a better uh, a better game better video of this game but yeah unfortunately I don't have a lot of control over that but anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Gigi.